Okay, so hello everybody. Um, you're joining me here in my office at my home. And I'm recording this uh, presentation uh, using some software called Camtasia Studio. I'm using the version 5 uh, for anybody that's curious. I um, thought today I'd have a little fun and give you kind of a, uh, just for the heck of it, give you a demonstration of this uh, drill down on a couple of computers that I've got networked here at my house. Um, um, give you a conceptual view here uh, of the drill down we're going to we're going to go through, and then give you a physical representation of what uh, what's going on uh, with the computers that are networked here at my home. So I'm sitting on a Vista Enterprise Edition. Uh, it's a physical box that I'm sitting next to recording this presentation on, and from there we're going to. Uh, connect into a virtual machine which is actually a um, well it's really a virtual machine it's uh, not a physical box um, it's an install if you want to think of it like a simultaneous uh, operating system both the Vista and the XP Pro will run simultaneously on a physical machine uh, so the Vista will kind of be like the guest I mean the host operating system uh, and it will it will host it, uh, a virtual machine which will the XP Pro will will run in um, which will be the guest operating system and you could have multiple guest operating systems uh, using using virtual machine software there's a lot of software out today to do virtual machine type stuff there's um, I'm going to be happy to use Microsoft utility called virtual PC uh, there's some more called VMware, Zen, uh, there's a whole host of others you can look into. Um, so from the, uh, once I make the virtual machine connection to my XP Pro instance, I'm going to actually then do remote desktop uh, over to a physical, another physical machine that happens to also be running XP Pro. And then from there I'm going to uh, VNC into a Linux uh, distribution called Ubuntu. Uh, it's actually a desktop distribution that I'm running. Uh, and then from there I'm going to SSH uh, using a just a simple command line terminal into a server that I have set up here uh, in my office also that I run like my web server and FTP server and things like that. Um, actually run a full-blown web server from my home uh, so I can actually hit my website from anywhere in the world you know it actually connects to my my Debian box here in my office so um, with that um, I'll take you over now to my uh, Vista Enterprise desktop uh, and we'll start making the connections okay so here is the desktop of the machine that I'm on, the Windows Vista Enterprise Edition. And like I mentioned earlier, we're going to use a utility that Microsoft provides uh, with Vista Enterprise called Microsoft Virtual PC, um, which is basically just a uh, another virtual machine type client. So I'm going to launch this. And uh, I've earlier I went off. You didn't get to see me and in, actually install the. XP Pro and all that. This X, this edition, uh, this uh, installation is actually running off a USB drive, believe it or not. And uh, I've actually saved the state of that of the operating system, the session uh, earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and restart that session for you. Um, so now, as you can see, we're we've connected to our virtual machine. Uh, our XP virtual machine. As you can see, this is actually, you know, just like any other, like you'd be sitting at a physical computer. I've got the internet pulled up here. I can run a simple search there. And uh, it, it gets assigned its own IP address, just like a regular computer. Uh, it gets assigned IP address through my router. And um, for all practical means, it's just like a physical box. Uh, but it happens to be just running as a guest operating system uh, inside my Vista host. Uh, so in the virtual machine now I'm going to connect 
um, to actually a, a physical box that happens also to be running XP Pro the remote desktop so I'm making a remote desktop connection now so now once we've established a connection uh, you can see now that um, the second instance of XP Pro uh, that I, from there I'm going to connect uh, to my Ubuntu box that's actually uh, it's actually connected um, into my network wirelessly in another room their wireless card uh, so I'm going to connect to my Linux box here, my Ubuntu box through VNC so here now we VNC into the Ubuntu desktop and then from lastly from the Ubuntu I want to uh, finally show you how I connect back to my on Debian server through a command prompt so I'm going to run a simple terminal and I've already ran the command earlier so I'll just uh, go through my history here and I'm going to make an SSH connection to my uh, to this IP which happens to be my Debian server uh, and there's my port that I run SSH on and my username and I'll put in my password and I'm connecting connected to my Debian server now and I can run any standard Linux commands so there you go folks uh, just in review um, I've connected from my Windows Vista Enterprise desktop uh, through a virtual machine running XP Pro and then from the virtual machine I can remote desktop into an, actually a physical machine that's running X, uh, also running XP and then from there I've uh, VNC'd into an Ubuntu uh, desktop uh, Linux version distribution called Ubuntu and then from the Ubuntu desktop environment I've uh, opened up a terminal and SSH'd into a Debian uh, server